This video is about a blood shift function of Nepto. This feature is useful to reduce the risk of hemoptysis during high depth dives. All data suggest that hemoptysis is due to an increase of the air pressure into lung capillaries. For this very reason, researchers suggest that before you perform a high depth dive, you make a slow adaptation to the pressure by doing a series of dives at a gradually increasing depth. The idea behind this is that warm-up dives should help distribute the blood flow in a better way. Okay, now let's see Nepto's blood ship feature in detail. So let's set up a dive, for example at 50 meters, and let's see it in operation. First thing, I'm going to the pre-dive display and prepare myself for the dive. And straight away in the upper right of the screen, the watch suggests me the depth for the first dive, five meters. So first blood shift, five meters. So now I will dive and I'll try to go exactly at the suggested depth. Do what you can to go as close as you can to the suggested depth. Okay, back on the surface, and in the upper right, Nepto now tells me the second dive depth, 10 meters, second blood shift. So I will dive again to a depth of about 10 meters, and I will go back to the surface. Now the watch will tell me the depth of the third dive, which is 25 meters, third blood shift. And notice that 25 meters is exactly the half of the depth that I set as a goal, which was 50 meters. So now I will dive to 25 meters and then I will go back up. At this point, I've done all the three warm-up dives. The watch in the upper right is now showing me again the dive time, and it's no longer suggesting a depth. So now I'm ready to go down to the depth I set as a goal. That's all there is to say about the blood shift feature. If you have any question, write them in the comments below.